मोटू समोसा एंड पकोड़ा शॉप मोटू हैड अ शॉप वेयर ही सोल्ड डिलीशियस समोसा एंड पकोड़ा हिज शॉप वॉज क्विट पॉपुलर बिकॉज मोटू हैड अ ग्रेट टेस्ट फॉर कुकिंग वन डे अक्रो नेम्ड कालू केम टू मोटो शॉप कालू सेड मोटू योर समोसा आर इनक्रेडिबली टेस्टी वट डू यू पुट इन दैम I have not found a samosa vendor like you in the whole city. Motu replied, "It's all about the love and the magic touch of my mother and wife. They have an amazing taste in their hands." Kalu smiled and enjoyed his samosa before flying away. Later a parrot named Tuni Chudia arrived at Motu's shop. Tuni Sparrow said, "Motu, please prepare some hot samosas for me." Motu with a grin said, "Sure, Tuni Chidiya, sit down. I am about to give you some." Tuni Chidiya then asked, "Motu, I have a question for you." Motu replied, "Go ahead, my friend." Tuni Chidiya inquired, "Your shop sells samosa and pakoras, but your name is Motu. You are not Motu the samosa. Why did you choose that name?" Motu said, "Ha ha, Tuni Chidiya, I guess it's a bit confusing, but today's kids seem to like it. That's why I kept it." And so Motu's shop continued to serve delicious mosas and pakoras under the name of Motu, bringing joy to the taste buds of everyone who visited. Tuni Chidiya had his mosa and left. For several days, the rainy season arrived, and all the birds stayed in their homes. Motu's wife and mother prepared the ingredients for samosas and pakoras. Motu opened his shop as usual, but due to the rain, Motu could not sell as many samosas and pakoras as he usually did. Whatever remained, Motu would eat.